Story time by Michael DeSilvis. How to dispel a rumor. Let's talk about that today. Once there was this girl named Sally who was in school. And all the girls were jealous. Or a lot of them were jealous because she was pretty. They thought Sally was beautiful. That's why they made fun of her and put her down. And even would say and make up lies and spread them all around school because of that fact. They would make fun of her on the school bus and try to pick on her and pull her hair. And they would say mean things to her that weren't true. So one day Sally got up the courage to confront these bullies. And she said, listen. You know, she got a little taller and she said, listen. This might have worked for you a year ago, but now that I'm taller, I am asking you, and I'm only going to ask you this once, that you stop spreading this trash and nonsense about me around the school and around my community and on the bus. That's what Sally said to these three other girls that were picking on her. And of course, they didn't stop. So one day she had to confront those people. She had to not only confront them, but had to challenge them. So what she did is she stood her ground and went to those three girls that were bullying and harassing her and saying all kinds of malice about her on social media and even on the school bus and in the community of where she lived and talking about her family and all. And she stood up to him and said, Look, this is the second time I've come to you within the last week. I am not going to put up with these lies and rumors that you're spreading around about me because you don't like me because of the way I look or you're jealous because of the way because I'm prettier than you. And they, of course, all laughed and denied it, of course, and they had a smirk on their face. I said, and furthermore, if you don't stop it, I'm going to wrestle you. So they all laughed and walked away. And, uh, of course... You know, the rumors continued because they didn't pay her any mind. They figured, well, she's just not going to do anything. Cause she's been so nice all along. Sally, you know, has been a really modeled girl, a Christian girl. So they kept on with the rumors and the insults. And so one day she met them at school and they wrestled. She wrestled all three of them and she won. Now I'm not saying to do this. To prove a point, but sometimes you may have to do that to prove a point. And that may apply to other things in life. Like if you have rowdy neighbors in the neighborhood, or you have people that want to harass you when you go to certain places, and they want to talk to you and accuse you of things and say things that aren't true. My advice to you, just like the story, is just don't listen to those things, because those people don't know what's going on with us as far as the family goes and what has been said since then. And if someone's saying stuff about you that isn't true, I would just not engage in it. Because, see, people, once they get you on your weak side, then they can re to get, regain control and get you to do what they want you to do by subverting and controlling you and making you scared. The whole idea when you come across these kind of power play kind of people is just... You know, to get up in your face and say, well, why are you here? You're not supposed to be here. And say things like that. You just ignore them. And if they don't stop, then scream. You know, that's the way you deal with these types of people because they're in your face for one. They're not supposed to be doing that because it's harassment and stalking. And it's really none of their business about, you know, where you are or where you're going. If you're going through a neighborhood and you're cutting through and you have people like that, you don't have to answer them anything. And you're not doing anything wrong by not answering them because you're not doing nothing wrong. So they don't really need to know your business of what you're doing. Okay. And, you know, because they're not really looking out for you. They're just trying to stir up drama and cause trouble that and stir, stir and spread lies that are not true about you and about the other person and people in general. And there's people like that that do that because they like to cause drama. Um, you know, as a word of advice, I tend to stay away from those types of people 
if they come to you, then you just, you know, run away and run and go another way. And, you know, or run and then, you know, come back, you know, again later. Um, but, you know, uh, but work out a plan. And, you know, if these kinds of people are going to be harassing you when you come around, then you need to study that and find another way to do it. Maybe take the next street over or maybe take the next community over and maybe cut over that way. Or, you know, maybe if there's a way to cut over behind uh, the street where you live, you can cut over that way and it's safe. Um, but, you know, look at all your options because believe me, there's a lot of options you can take. Um, if you're trying to meet with someone or trying to talk to your friends and these people keep coming around, uh, you can always just call the police on them and you can do that. You won't get in trouble. But you can call the police on them if things get bad. Or you can always bring a friend with you. And usually when there's more people with you, they tend to not bother you. But if you come by yourself, that's when these types of people tend to lurk around. Because they think, you know, they're in charge of everybody and they can control people. Or they think that they, you know, have that right because someone gave them that job to do that. When really it's not their right or business at all to bother you when you come into a person's neighborhood or somewhere where you're traveling or cutting through. If you're not doing anything wrong or causing a threat to the property or to the place, then there's nothing that anyone should say to you. And that's anywhere you're going. You know, because, you know, you might come over a place where there's old people and some old people are really threatening and menacing because they're old and they have some things wrong with them mentally and they like to stir up stuff because that's all they do because they like to worry about everybody else instead of worrying about what's going on in their apartment and in their life. They always got to have their nose everywhere else where it doesn't belong. And those people end up getting a lot of legal trouble. And sometimes they end up losing their life, you know, not by me, but other people because they do that to the wrong person and it ends up backfiring on them. You know, and they end up having a lot of hardships in their life because they're always in places where they don't belong with their nose. But, you know... Those kind of people, you just have to just not, you don't have to say anything to any of those types of people if you have any of those in your life. You come into a certain area where you go and they, they want to harass and all, just scream, you know, yell, you know. Um, use self-defense, hit them if you have to. Do what you need to do. But they have no right to tell you that you can't be somewhere when it's not even their right or authority to tell you that. So... You know, you just have to understand that there are all these kinds of people and they're not in charge of you and they have no right to say anything. And that's really the truth. So, you know, I hope this helps some people out there in their quest to go see friends and to go see family members, you know, because, you know, maybe what was said to them, you know, a while back is not that way now and things have changed, but yet they ha they don't know that. So... You know, that's just something to uh, keep in mind because that may be in your situation. So hang in there and be strong and just, um, you know, uh, don't worry about it. And uh, if you come in contact with those kinds of people, just come up with another plan to get around that. All right, take care. This is Story Time, preacher from New Hunter Church of Christ. Bye.